in my past videos. I vow to continue to search for the truth about the Pi Network KYC to provide fundamental facts to the KYC. If you are a pioneer and is about to KYC or have not received the invitation to KYC, this video is for you. I will be showing you basic knowledge about the KYC procedure and prepare you when the time comes for you to undergo the process. This video goes to illustrate that the Pi Network KYC is real. I urge that you pay attention and get the steps right. If you don't want to follow through, it's absolutely your option. If you miss any step, go back and watch again. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more goodies like this. If you are ready, let's get serious. Please pay attention and follow through step by step. I cannot stress more how crucial it is to know the stages of getting the KYC done properly. Remember that the Pi Network has suggested that if KYC is not done, pioneers stand a danger of losing their mind Pi. So, listen up and watch closely. There are two ways to expect the KYC. The first is the notice to KYC will appear up on the Pi Network app main screen. You simply anticipate it to accept the invitation to KYC and follow the steps that I am about to show you. Or you open the Pi Browser app and click on the KYC symbol on the app. This will launch the KYC app and it will look for available slot inside your location or nation. If there is none, you will receive a notice like the one on your screen, but if there is availability, it will display this on your app. Follow the next steps to KYC. Here, you are asked to authenticate your identity to ensure the integrity of the Pi network. First, you need to select the nation on your personal ID. To start, this implies that you have to select the same country as the government-issued ID that you wish to use as identity. To achieve this, simply click on the drop-down menu and select the desired country of choice. After that, you select the sort of ID you want to present. The different alternatives are driver's license, ID card, like a birth certificate, identity card, and passport. After picking, you have to consent to allow the social chain to collect and process certain personal information, after which you indicate if you are 18 years and above, and also that you accept to pay one pi for the cost of conducting the KYC. And then you click on Let's Go. This will submit your preferred choices and lead you to the next stage. The next stage is where you will submit the specified method of identification and make sure that it is clear and readable. Then you are expected to fill out the form with the correct information that matches your methods of identification. Next, you follow the steps on your screen to validate your identification. Remember that you will have to pay one pi for the procedure of KYC. This will be deducted after your pi is moved to your wallet at mainnet. When you are set to begin, hit next. Then you will need to take a picture of your ID in landscape mode, making sure to fill all the areas of the camera. Also, you will also take a picture of the reverse of the ID if it has any information. You will also need to carefully look through the stated things you need to do and not to do. When you are set to begin, click on the I'm ready button. Next, you will be invited to allow the Pi browser to take images and videos. When you are ready, make sure your ID is horizontal and not vertical. Then click on Add Front Photo. An option to select from file or camera will pop up. Select Camera to proceed. After you have taken the front image of your ID and uploaded, select Add Back Photo. Repeat the same technique to acquire a shot of the back of your ID card. Once you have acquired both sides of the ID card, proceed to click Next. The next step will urge you to submit your personal details in the same language as your government-issued document. This simply means that if you have your personal details written in Japanese, you will have to finish the form exactly in Japanese. This applies to all languages. This contains your first name, your last name, which is your surname, gender, date of birth, and then your address. Remember to enter in the current address, city, state, zip code, and country of residence. Next, you supply the document ID number. Don't worry, this will be determined by the sort of material you have first selected to send. When you are ready, you click on Next. You will then be prompted to undertake a live nest inspection. This is to authenticate and establish that you are a real person. Simply follow the directions and make sure that your face is fully visible. Also, make sure that you conduct this procedure in a wallet area. When this process is complete, the data will be uploaded. 
During the upload, you are expected not to exit the app or leave the app. Wait once the upload is complete. Next, you will be needed to check through the data you gave and ensure that the information is valid and accurate. When you are assured that all the details supplied are correct, click on Submit. Remember that submission is irreversible, thus it is crucial to make sure the data provided is entirely true and accurate. After entering the data, you will be asked with this message. Congratulations! If you have arrived to this level, your application has been submitted for processing. You may always go back to the app to check for application status. Once your KYC has been checked and accepted, you will be contacted and that's when the magic can happen. Your Pi can then be moved to mainnet. If this video brought you value, consider sharing the video. It might benefit someone else. As in the case of every other cryptocurrency business, investors are recommended to take prudence. Cryptocurrencies are still high-risk investments and PiCoin is no exception. Keep an eye on this channel for updates relating the Pi network and other current or relevant news in the crypto field. This video was not intended to discourage or encourage anyone to mine, buy, or sell Pi. It is simply video that is generated based on publicly available information which has all been cited. Whatever decision you make is up to you. With that, the video has come to a close. Please subscribe and click the bell symbol to receive more insightful daily cryptocurrency predictions. If you find this video informative and interesting, kindly consider like and sharing our films with your friend. If you have any questions or contribution please post them on the comment area below. Disclaimer backslash please keep in mind that this isn't financial advice, we take no responsibility for any loss or harm caused by your actions or inactions as a result of watching any of our videos. You acknowledge that you utilize the information we offer at your own risk. Thank you for viewing, and see you in the next one. If you have not subscribed, feel free to click the subscription button. Until my next video, keep digging. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together